Hi Bessies, hi Amores, welcome back to the Sexy Music Assassin's Cooking Vlog. And today I'm going to cook pork instead of beef caldereta. So, I'm going to cook caldereta, pork caldereta, um, with of course Mama Sita's caldereta sauce, right here, and these green peppers and other peppers red and yellow bell peppers tomatoes and brown dices of potatoes and carrots i'll cook it in a lazy way so as you can see this these are all frozen <laughs> but i'm going to cook it right now without throwing it so i will cook this caldereta okay with rich preparation of course for the beloved pork instead of beef stew and which is packed with bits of onions tomatoes and garlic then embraced by the perfect combination of herbs and spices to recreate this veritable star of every fiesta all natural and preservative free so these are our ingredients so first we have potatoes of course you have to cut it into cubes and carrots i'm gonna use this bolt house farms okay and Instead of beef, I will use pork, of course, and beef broth. Instead of beef broth, I will use pork broth and mamacita's caldereta sauce. So as you can see, these are all frozen. I'm not going to cut anything because our topic for today is how to cook caldereta in a lazy way. So first thing, we have to boil this pork, okay? until it's slightly tender and set aside the broth so you have to set aside at least two cups of broth so that's what we are going to do there you go so we, we just have to boil this ground pork so while boiling your pork you have to add one teaspoon of salt there you go. Spoon of black peppers. And then you flip the pork. And then just repeat the process. Just like this so now we are going to set aside two cups of the pork broth so you will now add your tomatoes okay and your frozen carrots So this is how you cook your pork caldereta in a lazy way. So especially when you're tired, you know, and you're in a hurry, you just add your vegetables and just wait until it's cooked. Just like this. There you go. So just bring to boil and simmer until carrots 
are slightly tender. Then we will wait for it to boil and then we will add the chopped, I mean not chopped, the potatoes. <laughs> ah, what am I saying? <laughs> okay, alright. So I'm just gonna cut the bell peppers into two. But since it's a lazy day today, so I'm just yes, I'm just gonna remove the seeds. Blah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I really need to strengthen this tongue of mine, you know. I need an iron tongue again. Okay, so I'll just have to remove the seeds. Alrighty. But it's up to you. If you don't want to cut it, then it's all up to you guys. Okay? Alright. Now it's done. So we just have to mix our carrots, alright, and our tomatoes. And then now we're ready to add the potato cubes. There so bring go. it to boil and simmer until potatoes are slightly tender. Then add 2 tablespoons of soy sauce. Now I'm going to add 1 fourth cup of fried onions. Now add this Mamacita's Calderetta sauce. Since I put a lot of, I use a lot of ground pork, I will use two packs of Mamacita's Calderetta sauce. Then don't forget your two cups of pork broth. So you have to stir it until the sauce thickens. You can now add the bell peppers. So if you want to add some spice to it, you can add jalapeno peppers. Since I want some sweet taste with this um, pork calderetta, I'm going to add one fourth cup of brown sugar. If you don't have green peas, you can use raisins, but that's optional. That's just in case um, you want to use raisins. If not, then you don't have to. To top the flavor, you can now add your fried garlic. I put one fourth cup of fried garlic. I just stir for a minute and serve it hot. Alright, carnations, until my next lazy cooking vlog. If you uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, comment below, and also don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. So the next time we have another new lazy cooking vlog you will get it right away so thank you all so much for watching have a great day bye